It's kind of a tiny shower, isn't it? Very old-fashioned. See, I'm not tall by any means, but... Ooh. <laughs> oh, is that claustrophobic? <laughs> we had these tiles growing up. This is a big job. But, you know, I think worth it. For most people, a bathroom reno can feel overwhelming. There are so many tradies that come through in a specific sequence, but we can help demystify all that. Now, our first thoughts when we saw this bathroom is this wall has to come out, and I definitely think that has to happen. We can do that? Yeah. Perfect. Because it's just, it's so squashy. So maybe if we swing the bath around, oh, extend the vanity, yeah? Yep. yeah. Cool. And then with the shower, what do you reckon there? Well, once this wall comes out, that's just going to open it right up here, which is going to obviously give you a, a bigger shower. All right, Project Management 101. Tonight, we are going to show you all the tips and tricks you need to get a bathroom reno done. Once and for all, what do you reckon? Step by step. The first one, demolishing. Yeah, drink my tea first. You start, <laughs> oh, I'll, no I'll be back. <laughs> It's always easier with a helper, but sometimes they're busy having a coffee. <laughs> so you just gotta do it by yourself. I tell you what, you don't mess around, do you? <laughs> isn't there something satisfying about watching someone else do all the work? I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, it's good being here with you today. I'm gonna Beautiful. go do the design stuff, because you know, all the pretty things, that's what I do. So I'm gonna go and choose a bath. Yep. The taps, all that stuff. So, seeing as you've got this covered... No, that sounds good. The only thing that I need is just needs to be a big enough bath where I can just spread out enough to... Stand you know? it up. OK, good. I'll Carry on, you're doing yep. a good job. <laughs> <laughs> I always think for most people, actually coming up with a design concept is probably the hardest part of any renovation. So you need all the inspiration you can get. One really good place to start is the Bunnings website. Obviously, you're going to do a lot of shopping there. So they've now got this really great feature where you can scroll through a whole ton of bathrooms in all different styles. And what's so good about this is everything you see on screen, you can actually order in store. Starting with the floor, that's a really good place to begin. This one is beautiful, it has a nice texture. It almost looks like timber, it's like a lime wash timber. So for the other walls here, again, you can't get any more affordable than a standard white ceramic tile. You could run them sideways, you could brick pattern them, or you can run them vertically for a really contemporary effect. So that's what we're gonna do around the room. This is where I've actually splurged on these gorgeous stone effect tiles. It's a beautiful mosaic, so you can use them as a full sheet or you can break them up. So we're going to run a line all the way above the tiles around the room. I think the whole idea here is we want to have it affordable, cosy, relaxing, and most of all, a beautiful retreat that's going to last the test of time. So all in all, very happy with this palette. I think this bathroom is going to look fantastic. So now the design is sorted, I can help Adam with demolition. Hey, that's a good little kick. That's a kick time. Hey, that's what we like to say. How are you that? Hey? I like that bit. <laughs> you got some, have you got some anger management issues there, Tara? Not Is, anymore. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I love it. It's like some kind of weird therapy, isn't it? It's a very strange therapy. We opened this room up completely and we got all the carpentry work done and called in the plumbers and sparkies to do their roughing. That's all the carpentry work complete. There's a few things that I want to point out. You'll see here, I've thrown in a few extra noggins and that's to pick up our shower screen and this is going to be where our shower rail is here and that's an important thing. When you're doing a bathroom reno, you want to make sure that you've picked out all your fixtures and fittings so you know where everything is going to be and plan for what's going to go ahead. So you'll see here we've also had the plumber that's come through and that's an important step because the plumber comes through usually on the second day and he's going to need your flick mixer and without that he won't be able to finish off his job and we won't be able to get our wall linings up and that's what I'm doing next. A few things you need to remember before you put your sheeting up. The first one is to make sure you mark out all your studs so you know where to fix it off. But more importantly, it's to mark out where your plumbing pipes are because it's going to be very costly if you screw through one of them. Now 
Now, yeah, cement sheets up. I'm just stopping up the joints and filling in the nail holes. That way, when we waterproof, we just go over the lock. If you don't feel comfortable, though, you can call in a handyman or a plasterer, and I'll do the job for you. Now, we've decided to tile up to 1,200 around the whole bathroom, except for the shower walls. We're going all the way up to the ceiling, which means I need to get a sealer and undercoat on the top half. Now, it's time to put this primer on so the waterproofing has something to bond to. So why do we use a primer? Because it creates a surface for the waterproofing to bond to. I'll be putting it around all the walls where the tiles are going and the waterproofing and also all over the floor. The most important part when it comes to waterproofing, if you do decide to do it yourself, is to make sure that all the corners are sealed. And a great system is this one here because it takes all the guesswork out of it. And to put it on, I'll just paint the waterproof on, bed the tape in, and then paint over it again. shower area, I'm going from floor to ceiling and then for the rest of the bathroom, I'm running a 150mm strip all the way around. Once the walls are done, it's onto the floor and I'm just working my way out to the door. The bathroom window is looking worse for wear, and it's definitely not safety glass that they've used in there. So a practical way to fix that up is to use these adjustable aluminium shutters. It will create protection for anyone falling through the glass, but also it's going to tie in with our bathroom reno. Now, you can pick these up from the hardware store, and you can cut them up to any size to fit your window opening. perimeter together. Now we need to get the louvers into position. For that, I'm just putting in these black clips and you can see that they're spring-loaded with a pin, so that allows us to pop them into each hole. A good tip is to get one side in and then just use a little plastic packer so you don't scratch the aluminium to get it down. make our louvers operate. I'll just be attaching this to the side. Our little black clips come with holes in them so I can just screw this on and it'll allow the louvers to open and close. Once waterproofing was dry, we screeded the floor, which is a sand cement mix to get our levels right. You see, in this bathroom, we have a centre waste, and our main floor is falling to that. In the shower area, we have our main grate, and obviously the floor here is falling to the grate. Now, these are levels you want to make sure you get right, because if you don't, you're going to have a lot of problems. So if you're not feeling confident in screening your floor, you can call in a tiler and he'll do the job for you. But I'm excited because our next job is to start tiling. wall tiles, I'm starting with the rip down the bottom and working my way up, making sure that it's nice and level and plumb as I go up. And for this wall, we've decided to use the border tiles and make this a whole feature wall. Now, my tip here with these mosaic tiles is to use a four mil notch trowel. That way you don't have excess glue that squeezes out through all these gaps. What I'm doing is lining up with all the wall tiles. That way, the lines will go all the way through, throughout the whole bathroom, and just make this look seamless. We 
we've gone with the light grey, which ties in perfectly with the wire tile, but also our feature tile. And to apply the grout, you just want to put it over your joint and then go over it on a 45 degree angle and take as much grout off as possible. That way, it makes it nice and easy when you're cleaning the tiles up. Now that's a feature wall. Nice. Now we're ready to start getting the fixtures and fittings in place, starting with the batting. Throughout this bathroom, Reno, we've been ticking off the boxes on the processes you need to go through to get this job done. And at this point here is where you'll call the plumber back for the second time so he can do his fit off. And the easiest way to drill holes in these ceramic tiles is with this glass and tile bit. You'll see that it's got a point on it. So it, it prevents it from drifting. But a good tip is, before you start, hold your drill bit up to the mark, give it a little bit of a tap, which just makes an indentation, and then you can start drilling. They're really good and easy for ceramic tiles. Nice. <laughs> you know, things are getting close when the bath's going in. How nice is this? Obviously, it's not oversized, but it's big enough to sit in and relax. And with these chrome finishes, it really gives this bathroom that classic look. Pretty happy with the way this is all turned out. Now we just need to get the big boss and see if she likes how it's all come together. It's about time I added a little bit of my finishing touches to this bathroom. I love a shelf, especially in a space like this. These ones are Tassie Oak. Very simple L-shaped construction. Love that. Dude, you've done such a good job in here. It's beautiful. It's I love nice, it. Isn't it? Yeah. It's a good touch out of the timber as well. It's really nice. Big change from what it was before. Massive change, massive change, Stars. Job well done. Yeah, I think so. All right, a few more finishing touches and then I think we can say tick, job done. That's what I like. I think that this bathroom is spectacular. I absolutely love it. That's fantastic, isn't it? How nice is it turned out? And I think what we started out to achieve was to give everybody at home a bit of a 101 on bathroom planning. For me, it is all about the design. It's just choosing your fixtures and your fittings and getting organised and working out your budget and your timelines. That's right. And for me, I guess it's about getting those steps in the right order. As long as you get, get everyone in when they're meant to come in, you can end up with a room as beautiful as this and it's bright, it's fresh. Good job, high five. High five. Woohoo! You want to jump in the bath yet? No. <laughs>